We're at a new lake this morning. We're gonna be taking the canoe out. Uh, we're using the canoe to get a little more access to the shore. There's a few areas in this lake that you can't get to. And uh, there's good shore fishing, but this will give us access to a lot more of the lake. Uh, we're gonna be fishing for smallmouth bass and largemouth bass. And let's see what we can catch. A good portion of this lake has shore fishing, but the other side has a lot of tree cover and doesn't make it easy to fish from shore. So that's why we're taking the canoe out. We wanna be able to get in underneath some of these trees and flip, see if we can catch any uh, larger fish that you couldn't get from shore fishing. So I'm throwing a, about a 1.5 inch square bill crankbait. Um, this water drops off pretty quick. So there's a good amount of depth. This thing dives maybe to about six feet, thinking that they're gonna be maybe up on that drop off ledge. So crank it down there and see if anything bites. Yeah. Yeah? Finally. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's a dink. It's a monster, Joel. It's a monster. Oh, I yeah. knew they were in here. <laughs> Woo Man. You <laughs> gulped that thing. Oh, brother. <laughs> That's it. That's all we, all we got. got so far. It's clean. It's a nice little... Yeah, it's, it's nice. Pretty. <laughs> oh. Hopefully that broke the seal. This is when we start catching them all. Well. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I told Finally. you broke the seal. Seriously. That's amazing. Uh, that is kind of funny. Dead for the last like hour and a half and all of a sudden, like two minutes. So that's a little bit better. This one we hit on a one and a half inch crankbait square bill. Uh, Probably about eight inch, nine inches long. Just kind of popping along the bottom and he barely hit that thing. I hardly knew and then came in. But not too bad. All right, one and one within two minutes of each other. All right, so I'll talk about what I'm throwing today. <laughs> this is a jake from lifted jigs and it's a ewg ned rig so it's a weedless texas rig style ned rig i think z-man is starting to make their own of these but uh i i knew that in lakes like this you definitely need that extra weed guard so that's why i'm throwing it Okay. Well, I missed the hookup on this one because I was changing batteries, but this is a little bit better one than the last few. Oh, <laughs> crap. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy moly. That'll nice. do. That's pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. Can you get uh, your scale out on that bad boy? Yeah. And then just pull down the... Yep. No, 1.7. Uh, 16 inches. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, 1.7. Nice. Not bad. Where did you catch that? Right over there. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> I switched over to a 4 inch green pumpkin yum dinger with a uh, 1 8 ounce bullet weight pinned. I'm um, be throwing around a bit of these weeds, seeing as he's hitting some stuff on a Ned rig, and I don't want to tie mine back on. I'm gonna see if this catches anything. Uh, oh, I think I just got one. <laughs> oh, this one's a little bit bigger. Oh, oh no, I saw it shine. It was so really? big. Was it? No. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't set the hook because I. You didn't he even, caught it. No, I, I was didn't. reeling it in to bring it back yeah. to cast, and he snapped it. I didn't, I, I didn't have any leverage to set the hook because my rod was already back. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, okay, came oh off again. Gosh. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, we'll get him. Again, it was right near the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. 
<laughs> same fish. Same spot. Yep. Three times. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Oh, it's a pike. Oh, it's a pike. And it's on freaking car. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't have a net or anything. <laughs> Okay, okay. Watch it out. You, you kind of got to grab the pectoral fins behind. Yeah, up. Now slide it. Yeah, just clamp the. Holy. <laughs> Why don't you just take it out for me? You can, you can get rid of him. Watch here. Oh, you had him so good. He was just in there. Holy crap. Should we dude. measure it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what you did. I did not catch. Three well, times. That's funny. Three times this guy was going right after you. Uh, he's probably about 26 and a half. Holy 26. Crap. He's got some weight to him. Yeah. You want to weigh him? No. You don't want to hold him? No, I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's see what he does. Ready? Yep. One, two. Yeah, get <laughs> just, your, just slide him in. He'll eat that again. Just slide him in. Oh. Uh, there, he there he goes, goes. under the boat under so the yeah boat. that fish hit three different times would grab the end of that you know i was swimming it in to bring it into the boat it's just it's just a senko worm he would grab the end of it and let it go and this time i got him was able to set the hook and uh caught that thing so that's i think my second pike of the year largest one so far this year uh, 26, 27, 26 and a half about. Not too bad. <laughs> Fought nice. Yeah, we go. Yeah. I thought so. Tiny. Nice little, little one. Oh. Tiny, tiny. Oh. Six inch. Tiny. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, bye, buddy. Woo! <laughs> Oh, I got one. Better than mine. Yeah, it is. Better than the, <coughs> better than the six inch bass. All right. What do you think? How big is that one? Uh, 13 inches? Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, I kind of just let that one sit, threw it right up near the shore, kind of where you were catching them before, or where you were casting before. Nice. There he goes. Yeah, there's kind of ramps up, but it stays deep along the shore a bit. Um, there's a little bit of a break, and we're catching them kind of just as they come over the into the drop off. They're kind of sitting in the ledge. We're on the sunny side. I bet you if we were on the sh on the shaded side, we might even be catching a few more. But we're going to continue to fish in this little area, and then probably head over to more of the shaded side and see if they're holding up there too. Got one. I thought you hit a tree. No. I, I saw him just take the bottom of it. Uh, right. I let it throw it in and let it sit. He hit that little Zara puppy. I threw it in, twitched it once, and just took it under. So, not a big blow up, but good little tiny fish. Good little fight. Oh, got a bite. Got one. I think I still got him, yep. Oh, he came off. Yeah. You got one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> Good jump. Oh, here he comes. Right in the top of the mountain. Easy come out. Nice. There he is. I'd say that's like the one you caught, you know? Yeah, probably about, 13, about 13, 14. Yeah. And you threw the, basically there's holes in some weed beds here and throwing a Ned rig, bouncing it into those holes and that's where I kind of caught mine just off the side. It's kind of shallow, it's probably about five feet deep. Um, and you can kind of see some of the weeds come to the surface, but when the sun shines, we can kind of see these holes, and that's where these things are holding up in, just on the edges. There 
goes. We had a pretty good day today. We caught about six or seven bass, uh, one pike, and oh, and we've got one more. One last one. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll do. Ooh, he gobbled that. Oh boy. Hey, that works. Well, as he takes it up, had a pretty good day. Where that was his last cast. We're on our way out of here, but uh, overall this lake turned out to be pretty good. We had a slow start. We ended up catching some good sized fish, a 26 inch pike and a 15, 16 inch bass. So um, canoe usually helps us get to the spots that we normally can't get on the shore. So today was one of those examples. So have a good day and uh, like and subscribe if you like what you see and uh, hope to see you again.